When we install vid project, there are three pre-configured commands inside of package.json. First command starts local development server. We have already used this command in the previous lesson. When we start a dev server by running npm run dev. The second script build is going to build our project for production by applying all necessary optimizations to achieve better performance. And there is also one more script, preview, which starts basic static web server to serve our build application to see how it is going to behave in the production-like environment. All these three scripts use vid binary, which we get by installing vid npm package. And this binary is contained within bin folder, which is inside of node modules folder. So when we use vid commands, everything starts with this script. So let's start reviewing vid's features, switch over to the terminal, and start development server by using command npm run dev. In the previous lesson, we have removed everything inside of our main JavaScript file, so we see a blank page in the browser. So let's go inside of index.html and remove this div with an id of up. And on this place, let's add a heading with some text. Right away, these changes will be reflected in the browser without manually refreshing the page. And since our main script file is included as ES module in here, by using this type attribute. We can of course use import and export keywords to include other modules, and browsers will properly fetch those modules. So let's try to import in here arbitrary JavaScript file. We're going to create this file in projects root, and here we'll just use arbitrary console log statement, and let's see what's gonna happen in a browser. When our main application script is requested by the browser, browser gets content of this script and once it sees this import it is going to fire an extra request to the server to fetch this module this is native ECMAScript feature which is currently widely supported in all modern browsers so we can easily leverage native es modules and once we get a response on request to fetch module with name a we get this content and browser is supposed to run this module so now we're supposed to see this console log statement in browser's console. And sure enough, we see this output in here. So by now there is nothing special going on. And such imports of ES modules are natively supported in browsers. So let's try something more interesting. For example, let's try to use npm package. To demonstrate this example, I'll be using a library called collect.js. Let's go ahead and install this library by using the following npm command. And once this library is installed, Let's go back to docs, and here we just need to include this library on the page. So let's use this import statement in our main script. We'll add it here right after our import of the first module. And then let's try to use this library, for example, to calculate average. From the docs, we're gonna copy over this instruction and output result in a console. And now let's see if it's gonna work in the browser. And if we would be using normal static web server, imports from node modules folder will not be recognized. So import of this collect library is not going to work. But in our case, we're using vid server, so this example worked fine. And we got calculated average in a console. And let's find out what happened in this case and how vid was able to process our import of npm package. So whenever we requested our main JS file, we can see that vid has done some processing and it transformed the second import when we try to import module from node modules folder. Let's take a closer look at this import. We see that vid transformed pass to this library. And once browser receives this transformed import, it is going to request this library by using the following pass node modules dot depths and the name of our library collect.js. And once browser tries to request this file by using the following pass, sure enough, it gets source code, which makes that collect library work in the browser. So vid has dynamically generated folder called vid within node modules folder. And here it puts source code of our imported library collect.js. And at the same time, vid has done some optimizations to this source code. And this is how vid makes it possible to import libraries directly from node modules folder. So these libraries will be available to use inside of browsers. And this is a big advantage of vid server over basic static server. 
since static server cannot resolve imports from node modules folder. And now let's take a closer look at what transformations are applied to our source files when they are served. And exactly for this purpose, we have previously installed Vit plugin called Inspect. Here we can clearly see how Vit transforms our source files. If we select here module main, we can see initial content of this module, as we wrote it, and transformed code, which gets sent to the browser whenever a browser requests this module. Here we also see that import of module from node modules folder. But if we take a look at transformations what are being applied to another module, a.js, we can see that the content of this module is left as is. So we didn't try to apply any transformations, because this content can be easily recognized by browsers. So no extra transformations are needed in this case. It's just a simple console log statement. Now let's go back to the editor, and in projects root, let's create new folder called source. This is pretty common convention to name this folder source, which is going to store all our source files. And right away, let's just move our module A inside of this folder. And right after that, let's go to main.js. Here we'll fix the import to import the module with a new name and move these two lines with usage of collect.js library into file. To.js, so that the module's file name corresponds to current lesson number. And one more time, let's see what's going on in the browser. When browser requests our main script file with the name main.js, it parses content of this file, and once it sees this import, it is going to fire another request to the server to fetch module with this name. And we see this request right here. And while fetching content of this file, Vit has done extra transformations to provide support for importing modules directly from node modules folder by doing all necessary transformations to this import statement. And here you may have also noticed that we were able to use collect library by using name collect. But here we import this library under randomly generated name. And if we search for this name in this file, we can see that it gets assigned to the constant with name collect which lets us use this library in a usual way. And finally, once browser has fetched source code of collect library, we were able to easily use functionality provided by this library. And the ability to use libraries imported directly from node modules folder is a great advantage of its server over basic static server.